Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have to tell you I am super excited for today's video because I will be showing you one of my all-time favorite Dollar Tree DIYs. In this video, I will be showing you how I created this really pretty vase, as well as that awesome Dollar Tree DIY pillow, and then finally a hearts on a line art print. But before we get started, if you guys are new here, I would love to have you subscribe and join us. So just hit that subscribe button down below, give this video a thumbs up, and let's get started. For my first DIY, I'm going to be starting off with this Dollar Tree glass vase as well as one of their glass candle holders. I'm going to be painting them in this Krylon gloss pink blush. I'm also going to be using these two painter's tapes that I already had. So what I'm going to be doing is taping off portions of the glass vase here because I don't want to paint the whole thing. So you'll see here I'm just putting a piece of tape across the middle section and I'm just going to be painting that bottom portion but I wanted it to have like a glass stripe as well as another pink stripe. So you'll be able to see here I'm taping off that top portion as well to block it from getting any paint on. That way when I'm spray painting, everything stays nice and neat. So you can see here the exposed portions that I will be painting with that spray paint and I will also be painting the entire candle holder pink. And here is how everything turned out after several coats of that spray paint and a couple hours of dry time. So I'm just going to be removing all of that blue painter's tape and then connecting the base of my candle holder to the vase. To attach these two pieces together, I'm going to be using a combination of E6000 glue as well as hot glue. So I'm starting off with my E6000 and just putting it around the entire edge. And then I'm going to be putting some hot glue on top of that just to give it a quick hold while it has time to permanently set. After a couple hours, it was totally dry and safe to handle, so I moved on to my next portion. So I'm just taking some twine here that I got at the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to be wrapping it around a couple times, and then tying it in a bow. And then I just trimmed off the extra tails there to make sure everything was nice and even. And for the last step, I'm going to be using these DIY stickers from the Dollar Tree, and these are awesome. They're made of wood, and they're really high quality, so I'm just going to be putting one right in the center of my bow, but to make sure that it does not fall off, I'm just securing it with some hot glue. And that is it, your vase is all done. So I styled mine here with some faux mini roses from the Dollar Tree, I think they look so pretty. But you could definitely use this for real flowers with water, since we didn't use any paint on the inside. I just think it looks so pretty. Next up is one of my favorite Dollar Tree DIYs I've ever done. So to start off for this pillow, I just picked up these two bath mats from Dollar Tree and we're actually going to be using the bottom portion of the mat for our pillows. So when you flip it around, you'll see the back has a really nice textured look to it and it doesn't really look like a bath mat so much. So when you're all done with the pillow, it really does give a really nice effect. But before we get onto that, we have to make the tassels. So for that, I'm going to be using this cotton twine that I got at the Dollar Tree. So these tassels are super simple to make. You're just going to hold a piece in your hand here and wrap it around your fingers. So I like really big, nice tassels. So I like to wrap mine around my finger a lot of times. And then you just wanna trim off a little piece of the twine, slide it in between your fingers, and then you can slide it off carefully and just make a series of knots. Two or three should be good enough. And then you're just going to pull that loop really tight and then cut directly across from the knot that you just made. And then you're going to flip it over and you want that knot that you just created to be the inside of the head of the tassel. So it just gives the tassel a really nice rounded look. And then I'm going to be using some more twine here just to wrap around it a bunch of times to secure it nice and tight. And then you can just tie that into a knot and then trim off the extra edges. Then you can just pull everything nice and straight to make sure that your tassel is even and trim off those edges. Now just repeat that same process three more times so you have a total of four tassels. Next you just want to cut four small pieces of string about the same size and then we're going to be inserting those into the center of our tassel. So to make it a bit easier, I just use a pencil to help me make the hole there. 
and then you just want to slide in one of your strings and then just double knot it and pull it tight. Now just repeat that same process with all of the other tassels. Now to attach our tassels to our pillow, you just want to make sure that you have the bottom of the mat showing since this is going to be the correct side when our pillow is all done. And I'm going to be taking that tassel with our string and I'm going to be hot gluing it into the corner here. But you want to make sure that your tassel is facing inward because when we flip our pillow the correct side out later, it will just be the appropriate way. So you'll see here, I'm making sure also to make sure that head of the tassel is pretty close to the edge. So I'm putting those strands that we attached into the hot glue. That's how I'm holding it. I'm not actually gluing the head of the tassel, but by doing this, it will just make sure that it's really secure and that it will not pop off the pillow later on. And I'm going to give you a close up here so you can just see where I attached the hot glue. But I did want to make sure that it was a nice tight fit because when you turn the pillow right side out later, you don't want a loose tassel hanging off your pillow. Now that all four tassels are secured, we can move on to assembling the pillow. So to attach the two bath mats to each other, I'm just using hot glue today. And this was the first time that I used hot glue instead of sewing to create a pillow. And I have to say, I was really, really impressed with the results. The seam was super secure and I had no problems at all with it. So I just went around the edges here, you can see. I took my time to make sure I did a little bit at a time because I didn't want the glue to get too dry in between sections. So I just did little sections and worked my way and made sure to put a little bit of extra glue around the corners there just to secure them. I'm just gluing down three sides here to start with. That way when it's time to turn the pillow right side out, it's a lot easier. So I'm just finishing up my third side here. And then you can see the fourth side is completely open. And I'm just going to be turning my pillow right side out. Here is how it looks when it is turned right side out and you can see our tassels there in the corners and how they are secured nice and tight. And for this fourth side here, I'm just going to be gluing half of it because I need the other half open for stuffing. And when you're doing the fourth side here, you just want to make sure to tuck those edges in so it has a nice finished look like the rest of the pillow. Now you should just have a small opening right here so we can stuff our pillow. But before we stuff it, I'm going to move on to the decor for this pillow. And for this, I'm using this pack of felt hearts that I got at the Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of eight and they're so pretty. I was so excited to get to use them in a couple crafts this year so for my pillow i had a hard time deciding exactly how i wanted to arrange my hearts since there are so many different ways but i settled on this way i have two hearts here on either end and then my third heart right in between them and slightly down a little bit and i think it came out really cute and since i'm just using hot glue to secure these i won't be washing this pillow it's just going to be mostly for decor so that way it won't get ruined in the wash and now to stuff the pillow, I'm just going to be using some regular polyfill. I actually order my polyfill from Walmart in a 10 pound box. It is by far the cheapest that you can find it, but you can find polyfill at any craft store, or if you have an old pillow laying around, you could just cut that open and use the stuffing from inside of that to fill your pillow. And finally, you can just add some more hot glue there to secure your pillow closed. And that is it, you are done. I definitely have to say this is probably one of my favorite DIYs I've ever ever done. I think it is so pretty and I don't think anyone would ever guess that it was created by using all Dollar Tree products. I just love it so much. Now for the art print, I'm going to start off by using one of these frames from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to be spray painting mine white. You could leave it black if you like, but I like my color scheme in the whites and the pinks and the grays. And you're also going to need some scrapbook paper. So this one I did not get at Dollar Tree, I have these on hand, but you can pick up scrapbook paper. At, I think Walmart has it, or Michaels, or definitely Hobby Lobby. So I'm just going to be using this one today. And it was a little bit too big, so I'm just trimming it down to size here. And I'm just using that paper insert as a guide. And I'm not going to be putting that scrapbook paper behind the glass. So I'm just going to be using the glass as a backing today. And to secure it, I'm just putting a little bit of tape. 
I'm also going to be using some twine as well as these felt hard stickers, both of which I found at the Dollar Tree. And to start off, I'm just going to be cutting two pieces of twine that's long enough to go all the way across my board and a little bit extra because I need the ends to be able to fit across the back of our board because we're going to be securing them back there with some tape. And when I'm taping my twine here, I'm making sure that it is not too tight because I want my twine to have a little bit of a drape to it in the front. Not too loose, but not too tight where it can't drape at all. And then I just repeated that same process for my second piece of twine. Now I'm going to start placing my felt heart stickers here. And the look I'm going for is to have my hearts kind of appear like they're hanging on a line. So I'm positioning the twine right at the top of the heart and I'm starting off in the center with the largest heart and then working my way out to some smaller hearts and for this I just went with white and pink and then I wanted to put a little smaller heart in the center there so the center one had a bit of a pop to it and then for the bottom I did the same pattern but I reversed the colors. And the last step is just putting that back into that frame and making sure that all of the tabs are secured down nice and tight. And that is it for this Hearts on a Line art print. I think it has such an upscale look to it. I just love it. It looks so pretty and cheerful and it goes with my color palette. And you could definitely customize this if this is not your color palette. You can definitely use reds and a different color scrapbook paper and it would change up the entire look of it. And that is it for today, guys. I really hope you guys like these DIYs. These probably are my favorite Valentine's Day ones that I've done this year. And I really hope that you guys feel the same. If you are new here, please do not forget to subscribe. I would love to have you join us here. And give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching.